Symmachus, Greek, Symmachus, ally, Florida, late second century, translated the Old Testament into Greek. His translation was included by Oregon in his Hexapla and Tetrapla, which compared various versions of the Old Testament side by side with the Septuagint. Some fragments of Symmachus's version that survive, in what remains of the Hexapla, inspire scholars to remark on the purity and idiomatic elegance of Symmachus' Greek. He was admired by Jerome, who used his work in composing the Vulgate. Life Eusebius inferred that Symmachus was an Ebionite, Ebionite Symmachus the Ebionite, but this is now generally thought to be unreliable. The alternative is that he was a Samaritan who converted to Judaism. Epiphanius's account that Symmachus was a Samaritan who having quarreled with his own people converted to Judaism is now given greater credence, since Symmachus' exegetical writings give no indication of Ebonism. At some time in his life, he had also written a commentary on the Aramaic Gospel of Matthew, known then as according to the Hebrews. Symmachus ben Joseph A rabbi from the time of the Mishnah, named Symmachus ben Joseph, is identified by some with Symmachus the translator, others hold the claim to be unfounded, although Epiphanius of Salamis puts Symmachus within the time frame of Rabbi Meir, saying that Symmachus had converted to the Jewish religion after being a Samaritan. The rabbinic Symmachus was a student of Rabbi Meir, and his teachings are mentioned in the Mishnah under the name Sumkos Hebrew. Topic: His translation. According to Bruce M. Metzger, the Greek translation of the Hebrew Scriptures prepared by Symmachus followed a theory and method the opposite of that of Aquila, for his aim was to make an elegant Greek rendering. To judge from the scattered fragments that remain of his translation, Symmachus tended to be periphrastic in representing the Hebrew original. He preferred idiomatic Greek constructions in contrast to other versions in which the Hebrew constructions are preserved. Thus he usually converted into a Greek participle the first of two finite verbs connected with a copula. He made copious use of a wide range of Greek particles to bring out subtle distinctions of relationship that the Hebrew cannot adequately express. In more than one passage Symmachus had a tendency to soften anthropomorphic expressions of the Hebrew text, however, Symmachus aimed to preserve the meaning of his Hebrew source text by a more literal translation than the Septuagint. Saint Jerome admired his style but faulted his translation in two areas important to Christians, saying that he substituted the Greek word nensis woman for parthenos virgin in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 and Genesis chapter 24 verse 43. Symmachus' Greek translation of the Pentateuch appeared in Oregon's Hexapla, in which he had written Keronios equals onyx for the precious stone known in Hebrew as barakat in exo 28 to 17 equals topic lost works equals According to Eusebius Symmachus also wrote commentaries, then still extant, apparently written to counter the canonical Greek Gospel of Matthew, his hyponemata, it may be related to the De Distinctione Preceptorum, mentioned in the catalogue of the Nestorian Metropolitan Abdiso Bar Berica D. Eusebius also records Oregon's statement that he obtained these and others of Symmachus' commentaries on the scriptures from a certain Juliana, who, he says, inherited them from Symmachus himself, Historia Ecclesiae, VI, XVII, Palladius of Galatia, Historia Lausiaca, LXIV, records that he found in a manuscript that was very ancient. The following entry made by Oregon: This book one found in the house of Juliana, the virgin in Caesarea, when I was hiding there, who said she had received it from Symmachus himself, the interpreter of the Jews. 
The date of Oregon's stay with Juliana was probably 238–41, but Symmachus's version of the scriptures had already been known to Oregon when he wrote his earliest commentaries, ca. 228. <laughs> Later traditions from the language of many later writers who speak of Symmachus, he must have been a man of great importance among the Ebionites, for Symmachians remained a term applied by Catholics even in the 4th century to the Nazarenes or Ebionites, as we know from the pseudepigraphical imitator of Ambrose, the Ambrosiaster, prologue to the Epistle to the Galatians, and from Augustine's writings against heretics. Topic. See also Equals Aquila of Sinope Theodotion <laughs>